1944, Miss Diana Ross made her entrance into the world. Come on, boy, and see about me. That same year, over at the Academy Awards, Casablanca would win Best Picture. And at Harvard University, scientists constructed the first general purpose digital computer. But with all this going on, there was a war that could not be ignored World War II. From 1939 to 1945, over 16 million Americans served in the United States Armed Forces. One of them was Louis Piccarello. I figured I'd have to go do my duty. I was in the 1st and the 4th Division in the Marine. And uh, <clears throat> out of boot camp, I was in uh, headquarters in... Uh, well, what they call the motor pool today, we call the transportation at the time. Vehicles, keeping the vehicles running on the base. Louis's commitment to his country was understandably not without sacrifice. He left Needham High School in April of 1944, just weeks before his graduation, to enlist in the Marines. And he was soon deployed overseas. If he had been able to wait, he would have left with his diploma. On Wednesday, November 10th, Needham High School principal Aaron Seacott and superintendent of Needham Public Schools Dan Gudekans presented a diploma to Louie, a World War II veteran and a member of the Needham High School class of 1944. I'm excited to interrupt your time right now. We right now have a wonderful moment happening in the main office. Mr. Louis Piccarello, Needham High School class of 1944. Yes. I said that 1944 is here with us today. Louis left in the spring of his senior year, just before graduation, to take part in World War II. He served very proudly as a Marine in the Pacific Theater. He never, never received, received his diploma. It is it time, time we fix that, that and make sure, sure he is a graduate, graduate officially of the high school. school. So, so to introduce him, him, I'm going to first introduce you to Lauren Tannen, a member of our group. The group has had a chance to already get to know Louis a little bit, and she will then introduce Louis when he is in the flesh. Mr. Picarello has been an active member of the EFW ever since he got back from his time in the race. He then operated big construction transportation vehicles, but remained in every grade that the VFW has been on. Here is Mr. Carrella to say that I'd like to do this. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning to you. Um, my name is Dan Goodykans. I'm the superintendent of schools, and I'm honored, along with Mr. Seacott, to welcome all of you today, and um, especially to honor um, our graduate. Uh, you know, what's important about this community, I think Louie knows this and the family knows this, is that Needham does at least two things really well. Needham remembers and Needham pulls together. If you have a chance and you haven't seen it, out in the hallway is a plaque to all of the veterans who have attended Needham High School, graduated from Needham High School, and fought in wars beginning from the Revolution on. And students thousands of times a day pass, pass that plaque because Needham remembers. We also, as a community, pull together. Needham pulls together in support of its families, 
of its students and children, most especially. And here today, we pull together in honor of all of our veterans who have served our country, and most especially this morning, Louis Picarillo. Louis has lived a wonderful life, a long life. Um, he's had a lifetime of learning. And just shy of his graduation, he, he made a sacrifice to, to serve his country. Um, and it's a sacrifice that so many hundreds of thousands of others, um, including our own father, uh, who served in the South Pacific. Um, so we're really honored that 77 years later, Louis, 77 years later, we can present you with a lifetime learning diploma representing not only your time in high school, but a life well lived with an amazing family and obviously so many friends and colleagues. I do need to tell you, though, Louis, I did look back on some of your records. <laughs> <laughs> And I believe, I, I believe there's a library line from the ninth grade, and I'm here to say that on behalf of the Needham School Committee, the Needham Public Schools, um, I am going to uh, do away with that fine <laughs> on your behalf. And speaking of uh, this amazing community that remembers and pulls together, I want to thank members of the Needham School Committee who are here uh, this morning, Chair Connie Barr, Andrea Longo Carter, and Michael Grice um, are representing the school committee, and of course the amazing staff and students of Needham High School. You know, it, uh, it seems that across this nation, recently, there's, there's been some bitterness, there's been some acrimony, politicization, and um, there's, there's been a lot of controversy, even here in, in little old Needham, you know, controversy about wearing masks or vaccines, or talking about race, talking about people who are different. Um, what I'm proud of in this community is that despite the bitterness and acrimony, and despite your political perspective, Needham remembers, Needham comes together so that we can talk about these issues in a civil way, in an appropriate way, and in a way that models for our young people what we aspire them to do. That's what we are all about today. Remembering and supporting our students by honoring the life of Louis Piccarello. Louis, um, I look forward to in a moment uh, to uh, help uh, hand you your diploma. I want anyone to know and to remember that in this moment, right here, right now, regardless of what goes on out there, here we remember and we support one another in community. Congratulations. We, we sometimes lightly use this phrase to serve, whether we're talking about a person or an organization. We use phrases like, she served as a dedicated employee for or he was proud to serve as an interim leader for an organization. To truly serve, though, to truly serve, is to perform duties and responsibilities that are not your own. To truly serve is the most selfless of acts. I've been thinking a lot about that since I first heard your story in late spring, Louis. Could there be a more selfless act that on the cusp of graduation, on the cusp of culminating 12 years of investment in your education, you left Eden High School, joined the Marines, served valiantly and honorably in the Pacific Theater. Could there be a more selfless act? I don't know if you wrestled with that decision, Louis. I don't know, and in the end it doesn't matter because we know what your decision was. You served this country without hesitation, as far as I can tell. If serving is the greatest of selfless acts, then to be in service is the state in which it occurs. 
It's dedication over time to a cause or to those you are serving. It strikes me that with your education having been interrupted, you have been in service for 77 years now. You don't need me to tell you, that's a long time. So after the better part of eight decades, Louis, it is finally time to properly thank you. Finally time to finish your educational path. I am honored to have this opportunity here. To pay tribute to you, Louis Pigrello, to be in service to you with everybody gathered here in this moment. To recognize you as a class of 1944, from Needham High School, and in a few short moments, everybody, a graduate of the class of 2021. I am honored to be here with you in this moment. So to Louis's family, Louis's friends, Louis's fellow veterans, I welcome you all to this incredible and we all know very long overdue moment. This opportunity to honor a veteran, to honor a hero, a servant in the truest sense, and a student from Needham High School. Louis, on this day of November 10th, 2021. 77 years after you left NHS, I am thrilled to welcome you back and to present to you your official Needham High School Diploma. <laughs> we are so happy for you, Louis. So honored to be up this year with you. Thank you. Congratulations. Let's put this in your hands. To everybody gathered here, do you want to say a few words to everybody gathered here? Well, just uh, I know we're all grown ups, so but if you have any children, make sure they get plenty of education <laughs> besides your health and family education. Here, here. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to thank everybody here. Yeah. Never expected this, anyway. I can't express it. No way. There's no words. Congratulations. I'd like to thank the FW. Jan and Aaron. The other high school staff. The police department, the students, just everybody. Thank you very much. Oh, 
attention to your educa educators because educators are number one in the world I mean besides your health no it's one thing last thing that I say and I always say it they taught me to be a man I was a young 18 year old like I said before know it all I didn't know as much as I thought I did